When we assess our existence here on Earth, we pretty much take it for granted that we belong here. But it's a strange phenomena that is happening so close to our everyday life that we seldom even notice, let alone question the fact that human beings are still developing to our surroundings. That scenario inevitably leads to more questions about where exactly we came from and why we forgot where we came from in the first place. Loose interpretations from stories in the ancient contextual records of our species leads us to class the ancient situation as a myth simply because we refuse to believe the things that are recorded by our ancestors. But why? Why the hell do we not believe that we came from the stars? All the evidence on the Earth suggests that this was the case. Yet we are ignoring the signs of the past and at the same time, we wonder. Wondering scenarios that are in our mind are born of something more ancient. A collective species like us are sharing more than we realize. Things like fear are collective in our consciousness from a time where a great trauma was inflicted onto us as a whole and just like a defensive reflex, we are ignoring what we once knew to be true. Wait till you hear this. The first food that we give our infants is milk. Human milk contains all the nutrients and minerals a baby needs as it begins to grow. As a collective species, milk is the single most important food for survival. Would you be surprised to learn that other species, like cow's milk, was not a viable consumption option for humans until a few thousand years ago? This means that we only recently developed here on Earth to drink cow's milk, somewhere around 5,000 years ago, and hundreds of millions around the globe are still unable to consume this alien milk to this day. Most adults worldwide do not produce the enzyme lactase and so are unable to digest the milk sugar lactose. The genetic change that allows us to drink milk without getting sick has been mapped to daring farmers in a region between the Central Balkans and Central Europe. Previously, it was thought that natural selection favored milk drinkers only in more northern region because of their greater need for vitamin D in their diet. People living in most parts of the world make vitamin D when sunlight hits their skin. But in northern latitudes, there isn't enough sunlight to do this for most of the year. You would have to consider that if humans were evolving on this planet for millions of years, then we would make a connection between human milk and cow's milk much earlier. But the fact is, and with no stretch of the imagination whatsoever, we only recently have begun to be able to consume the cow's milk and are still in the development process to this day. And this is not the only anomaly that suggests we are not used to our surroundings. Our skin burns if we are exposed to the sun. What's that all about? If we had evolved on this planet, then our skins, you would imagine, would have developed all that is needed to deal with both our exposure and underexposure to the sun. We also contract diseases as if our nervous systems are under constant attack from bacterias that are saying we don't belong here. The earth is trying to kill us because we do not belong here and are still adapting to our new surroundings. The proof of who we are is no doubt all around us and even within our psyche the question is then, why are we not acknowledging this fact? When Scott Kelly and his twin became the subject of an extensive human research project to understand the effects on the human situation, stunning changes between the twins startled the world, including Scott aging less than his brother, but that was not all. Genes related to Scott Kelly's immune system, DNA repair, bone formation networks, his bloodstream, and numerous other systems have all been altered. Could it be that humans will in fact go through a series of metamorphic changes to a state we were at before we came to the Earth? In our quest to explore the cosmos, perhaps returning to the stars will give us the keys to the past as well. Maybe within each and every one of us, 
there is an answer stored for a later date and time when we start to go through these changes and return to where we once came from. In a book titled Humans Are Not From Earth, a renowned author proposes that humans possesses a multitude of physical vulnerabilities, such as slower childhood development, a heightened susceptibility to illness, spinal problems, and difficulty giving birth. He concludes that we most likely evolved on another planet. If we go out in the sun too long, we get sunburned. And that doesn't make a lot of sense unless the conditions on planet Earth have changed very dramatically in the last few thousand years. You have to wear sunglasses outdoors. That also indicates that our eyes are not properly adapted to the planet. Another factor is that when astronauts actually go into space, their body clocks change from 24 hour days to a 24.9 hour day. And that happens to be the exact rotational period of a single day on the planet Mars. Given the fact that our body clocks are tuned to the planet Mars, not to the planet Earth, that indicates that we actually came here from there. Some have suggested that at some point, Mars had an atmosphere. And due to some cataclysmic events on Mars, the Martians had to find a new home. What if we are the Martians? We know that sounds crazy, guys, but it also adds up to logical sense. The signs are everywhere. The writing is on the wall. For now, we may not have the answers, but at least we do have the questions. Thank you for watching.